What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farms of Bill's Life. Hashtag Farm Top Top. Today, we've got 20 PC mods of testing. We've got 33 console mods of testing. A2 Square Studios got some information about his versatile trailers. AAA modding show off their John Deere 55 series. Peter716 addresses issues with New Park Farm. A Dub Modding's got a new fact sheet from the old Gen Massey Pack. Custom Modding have released their ADAR and side quest tanks to PC players. Casarius Modding is going to make a lot of Case IH fans very happy. JAHG Modding have already updated their John Deere planters. Matt26 has a new header trailer coming soon. CB is looking to hire a new 3D artist. Is it you? Plus, Sid Modding does what he does best. Let's check it out. First up today, we have all of our mods that are in the first stage of testing. In testing for PC, we have the 2PTS11 Sarmat, Bessie Benit, Camera Livestock Trailer, GEA Mix Feeder Animal Feeding Systems, Homemade Auger Conveyor, John Deere 600F Series, JSA Swath Roller, KTU-10, Maxi Squalo 4700, Old Polish Cow Barn, Personalized Farm Sign Pack, PIM-40, Polish Vehicle and Equipment Pack, Ripper 4500, Spruce Wood Farmstead, Star a Tornado 600MD, Stopover, Tractor Safe Front Weights Pack, Valentini Maxi Squalo 4700, and the Valentini Ripper 4500. Next up, we have mods that are in the final stage of testing. These have all passed PC testing. In testing for console, we have the Brick Shed Pack Italian Style, Gloss Cutter Trailer, Deutz Far Agritron 128 150, F1000, Field Barn, Forage Mixer, Hoverboard, John Deere 520 Flow. Mower, Key Awake, Krohn Emslin Bellenwagen, La Cornella 2.0, Lizard Bunker Silo, Lizard E6, Lizard Grade IH. This is. What are these? Lizard Livestock Trailer, Lizard S208, Lizard TB Pack, Lizard Weight Pack, the not Lizard branded Logset 10F GT, Logset 5F GT, Logset 8H GTE Hybrid, Machine Shelter, Modern Pigs Barn, New Holland TC5070, Rodeo Pickup, Placeable Advertisement Board, RDC FS19, Randon Bulk Carrier R Line, Randon Turbo Vrack Trailer, Root Crop Storage, Small Polish Garage, Tension Belt Pack, and Water Tower. With all that being said, we still have 101 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is four workdays. Moving over to today's top stories, first up we hear from A2Square Studio regarding their versatile transport trailer, in which we've shown off a lot in the past few days. It has completed testing at the time of recording, which is Wednesday morning, which can only mean one of two things. We know it wasn't on the testing list today, so it's either passed and will be released later today, or it has failed and will be returned to the modder to fix it. Unfortunately, only time will tell which one it is. And just as I was finishing editing this video, A2 Square Studios posted saying pending release. Oh yeah. Also, if you haven't been watching David's live streams in the evenings, you are missing out big time. He's been showing on progress on the TLX 2020 and other mods in his possession right now. He's doing something that not a lot of other mod creators are doing. He's not the only one, but he's one of the only ones doing it like he's doing it. And he's being totally open and upfront about everything that he's up to, and you can watch it all happening live. Jump onto the link down in the description below and check him out and let him know that DJ sent you in his next live stream. Next up, AAA Modding shows off their John Deere 4755 tractor in both US and EU versions shown from left to right. These are still in the work as far as I can tell, but are getting very close to the final stages before being sent off to Giants for testing. And yes, these will be for all platforms. Let me know what map you plan on using these on in the comment section below. I'm putting together a classic John Deere farm to match my classic Case IH farm, and I think this would be perfect beside the 40 series and one of Sid Modding's old JD combines. Peter716 has addressed a few problems people are having with his new map, New Park Farm. First up, the wind turbines. As I stated in my new mod video the other day, they do not make you money. However, you can sell them and make quite a bit of money to help you get a head start on your farm. He says he may try to have them make money for you in the future update, but that could be strange unless you own the land which they are on to begin with, which you do not right now, or else they just won't work. And next, he talks about the contracts. No, there are no contracts on the map. This is something that he did not add, and Giants must have just skimmed over it when testing the map. He will try adding contracts in a future update, and I'll keep you guys updated on the progress of this map, as it's an awesome map. The map has over 40,000 downloads and is sporting a four-star rating at the time of recording. Not bad, Peter. That's really cool. A Dub Modding is channeling his inner DJ Kyler calling for another one. Today, we've got another fact sheet from the old Gen Massey pack, and it's the Massey Ferguson 600C two-wheel drive version. This is going to cost you between $17,500 and $18,600. Has a horsepower range from 75 to 95 horsepower. 
This will have similar options to the track model that we talked about yesterday, with options ranging from no cab, a cab, forestry cage, warning triangle, front loader, and no front loader. In addition to that, we get some awesome shots from his upcoming John Deere MoCo, which may look similar to the in-game New Holland Trail Mower, but is a totally new model. This is gonna look sweet behind the 55 series. Custom Modding have released their John Deere 8R US series as well as their Dimco 1200 gallon SideQuest tanks for PC players with the console version coming to Mod Hub soon. And these were both last seen in testing yesterday. No word at this time whether they passed or failed. The 8R will be an update to the already in-game 2018 model and will have new options including the H480 front loader support, support for new tanks, the Lancota stock stompers and 360 tanks. They will also include a front three point Front weights, beacons, warning sign configurations, a rock box option, openable doors, triple wheels, and everything else that you've come to expect from custom modding tractors. The Demco 1200 gallon SideQuest tanks will be compatible with the mentioned ADAR mod as well as the Case IH AFS Connect Magnum by Carl Farms, which was released yesterday, as well as the John Deere 2018 7R and Sid Modding's 2020 8R, both of which will be coming soon. If you're on PC and you want to download either one of these mods, you can find a link to Custom Onyx Facebook page down below, and the download link is in their latest post near the bottom. Casarius Mining have posted a teaser showing off a new work in progress, the Case ATX 3010 Air Drill. I know Custom Mining are working on some case planners, but I don't think we have anything else like this in-game. Great to see case fans getting some love. These are a work in progress, so platform information isn't set in stone, though judging from the comments in their latest post, it looks like their intention is to get this mod to everyone. Keep in mind, mods do take a while, so be patient. I want to see these two, don't worry. In addition, Casarius Mining said that their Case IH Magnum US was in testing, but there were some errors that needed to be fixed, and they're working hard to get that out ASAP, as well as their Steiger, which they say started testing yesterday. Stay tuned to the channel for updates on all these mods, as I'm very excited to see these, you know I'm a big case fan. JAHG Modding has posted a hot fix to their John Deere planters, both the DB60 and DB90 versions. This is going to be version 1.001, fix the refilling air by proper scripting. They also fix the liquid fertilizer with the manure system mod, so now you don't need a pump tank anymore. Fix an issue with the horizontal line planter, and to remember that these were built to be realistic. You may miss some spots here and there, just like you would in real life. You're going to have to go back and get those. They also added the proper fill index to the manure system connector, but you can only do this with liquid fertilizer. Fix the depth note for the DB90, fix the seed capacity on some tank configurations that was missed, and reduce the file size of the DB90 even more. If you're on PC and you already use these planters, make sure you update to the latest version, and you can find the official download link below on JAHG's page. Something lots of you were asking about when the Case IH 1030 header pack last updated last week was, are we gonna be getting a header trailer to fit the new 20 foot version? Well, it looks like that we might have our answer as Matt26 posted saying, stroller ready. Granted, this is a translation from Polish, I believe. So I'm assuming this means header trailer ready or something like that. Regardless, we're shown a new header trailer in front of his 2188 combine, which we also got, I believe on Monday, I'm loving that, by the way. He generally only teases things like this when they're close to release, so keep your eyes open. Missy B is looking for some help, and one of you out there might just be the person for the job. She's looking for a 3D designer to help with some modeling. This is a paid position, and is paid per model with future work available as well. If you're up to the task, send her a message on her Facebook page. We'll have that link below. And lastly, as is the case with pretty much every episode of Farm Sim News, we leave you with new pics of the John Deere 2020 X9 Combine, by Sid Modding. He says another day of work and he's already in love with this combine. Probably the most beautiful combine that has been made. I would have to agree with him as well. What do you guys think? Drop him a line at the link below and make sure you check out all of your favorite stories from today link down there as well. These mod creators work really hard to bring us the best that they can offer and we're virtually spoiled at this point with mod choices. Thank you to all mod creators. This game just keeps getting better and better because of you. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes for the most current status of other projects that you're interested in, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for up-to-date information on everything going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. With all being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you
Peace! Oh, yeah, we're getting closer. Three more days to the 12-hour live stream. Let's go.